Assalamualaikum everyone. So in the last video we covered NCR without a calculator. In this video we're gonna do NPR without a calculator. So as uh, we saw in NCR, there's a way to do it with the formula. There's a way to do it without the formula. So here also the same concept applies. So we're first gonna look at what the formula is, and then we'll see how we can do it with the formula and without the formula. So NPR, the formula, is very similar to NCR. So NCR was n factorial over n minus r factorial into r factorial, whereas NPR is simply n factorial over n minus r factorial. That's it. That's the formula. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out a few. Um, I'm going to work out a few um, NPR um, sums, and I'm going to do it with the formula, and I'm going to do it directly so that you guys can see how they're both related. So let's say you have five p two. Okay. So I'll do it with the formula. And I will also do it directly. Now, if you do it directly and you apply the, the theory behind it, so 5p2 basically means that you have five objects and of the five, you wish to arrange only two of them. So that means you have room, you have five objects, five options to choose from or five, op five objects to arrange and you have room for two. So that means in the first place, you have five options. In the second place, you have four options. So altogether, you have 20 ways to arrange Two objects from five. If you were to do us do this with the formula, then this is what it would look like. Whoops! If you were to do this with the formula, then this is what it would look like. You would do five factorial in the numerator. In the denominator, you would do five minus two, which is three factorial. And then if you expand, you will notice that five factorial is five into four into three into two into one, or simply five into four into three factorial. And the denominator is three times two times one. And then ultimately, what you're left with is five times four anyway. Okay, so that's the way to do it using the formula. If let's say you do 10 C3, oh sorry, 10 P3, not uh, C3. So 10 P3 basically means that you wish to arrange three objects out of 10. So that means 10 times nine times eight. Okay, and whatever that is equal to, that's gonna be equal to 720, I believe, yeah. How do we do this with the formula? So with the formula, this would be 10 factorial over 10 minus three factorial. Okay, 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial, or simply, let's save some space and write it as 7 factorial. So how do you expand 10 factorial? You can write it as 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial, and in the denominator, you have 7 factorial as well. So 7 factorial, 7 factorial cancels, and this is what you're left with, okay? So this is how you can do it directly and how you can do it with the formula. So it really depends on the situation that you're in. If you're in a situation where the value is not a very large one, then you can do it without the formula. Like for example, if let's say you have something like this. So here's an example. This is not a positive per question, just an example of my own. Let's say you have NP2, which is equal to 30. Now what's NP2? NP2 is basically going to be N into N minus one. Okay, so I didn't write this, but let's actually generalize the expansion as well. And I'll do that over here. So if let's say, you have n p zero. What's that equal to? That's equal to one. If you have n p one, what's that equal to? That's equal to n. If you have n p two, that means n times n minus one. Why? Because as you can see, five p two is five times four. So n p two in terms of n would be simply n times n minus one. If let's say you have n p three, that would be n times n minus one times n minus three. Okay, so this is the more direct way of doing it. Even if you use the formula over here, so I'll show you. If I use the, if I apply the formula to NP3, that would mean N factorial over N minus three factorial. Now N factorial, if I start expanding it, I can write it as N times N minus one times N minus two times, okay, I just realized this is supposed to be N minus two. Anyway, times N minus three factorial and in the denominator, we have N minus three factorial as well. That's why I stopped at N minus three factorial and then this cancels out and notice that you're left with the exact same thing. Okay. so. If you don't, if the value of R is not very large, do it without the formula. If the value of R is significantly large, do it with the formula, okay? Ir irrespective, you get the same answer. So NP2 means N into N minus one, no need to use the formula over here, divide by th uh, is equal to 30. So if we expand this, we have N square minus N, let's move 30 across the equals to sign as well. We can solve this using middle term breaking. So it's gonna be N square minus six and five are the two terms that you're looking for in order to break the middle term. And then when you solve this, I'm gonna skip a few steps. You'll get one value of n, which is equal to six. 
and the other value of n which is equal to minus y. So obviously you can't have a negative value of n, that's not possible. So therefore the correct answer is six, okay? Now I have over here a post paper question. Now we don't have a lot of post paper questions for this. In fact, I think this is just the one post paper question that we have. So I'm gonna solve this. And in the meantime, I want you guys to read and decide on your own whether you think I'm gonna use the formula or whether you think I'm going to do this directly. So I hope you've decided by now and the answer is that I'm not going to do this directly. I am in fact going to use the formula. Why? Because we have NP10 and we have N minus one P9. So let's solve this. As far as N plus nine is concerned, we're not gonna change that, okay? So that will remain as is. But as far as NP10 is concerned, that obviously we have to change. So N plus nine into NP10, which means N factorial over N minus 10 factorial equals to n square plus 243 as it is into, so I'm going to put a bracket around this, into n minus 1 p9. So that means n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus 9, which means n minus 10 factorial. Now you can add some extra layer of working if you want. If you want, you can do it directly. So immediately we can see n minus 10 factorial and n minus 10 factorial getting canceled. Now we have a factorial on the right hand side and we have a factorial on the left hand side. So we need to get rid of that also. So here's what we can do. We can introduce n minus one factorial in n factorial. So we let n plus nine be as it is. n factorial, we read it as n into n minus one factorial is equals to n square plus 243 into n minus one factorial. So what happens is that n minus one factorial and n minus one factorial cancels. And now here's what we have. We have n plus nine, which is being multiplied by n, so don't forget about that, is equal to n squared plus 243. And uh, if we start expanding, so we have n squared plus 9n is equals to n squared plus 243. So it's not a quadratic equation anymore because n squared cancels. 9n is equals to 243 and n is equals to 243 divided by 9. So let's work it out. Sorry, not 3, 243 divided by 9. 9 ones are 9. 9 twos are 18, we're left with 6, 9 sevens are 63, so that means n is equals to 27, yep, that is, in fact, the correct answer. Okay, so there you go, we are now done with all the permutations and combinations. I hope you guys have understood that this I know is a very pain point, a very big pain point for students, and I will be, inshallah, doing another run-through of past papers very soon, you'll probably find it in this playlist as well. So yeah, I'll stop here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz.